This is Miss Kwai from Bravo's Married to Medicine and TV One Sister Circle. And guess what? I just finished my interview with Hollywood Unlocked because I got the keys, honey. Trust me, Quad Squad, you will not be disappointed with this one. I love Jason, Melissa, and Gio did their thing. Now listen, the topics that they talk about are very busy, honey. They go from politics all the way down to the nitty gritty in the bedroom. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. What up, everybody? This is Jay Celine. This is Hollywood Unlocked and Censored. And I'm Melissa Ford, a.k.a. The Curve Queen. Yo, it's your boy Giovanni. Hold on. So before we get started, I have to ask Gio, what movie role are you playing? Because <laughs> Listen, you, man. you came in looking like it's 30, 34 winters and no Listen, summers. Listen, man, some girls like the scruffs. First, when I walked in. And it's I, No Shave November, right? Yeah. So when you I met be when, when I met the um, new person with the staff, what's her name again? Michelle. Michelle, he says, oh, he's supposed to be the sex symbol. I'm like, so I'm, a, I'm still a I'm I'm still sexy. Some He's girls like this. supposed to be shit. the sex symbol out of the three of us. Well, first of all, the, I'm, first of all, I'm naturally cute. But when we recruited Gio, <laughs> we thought maybe funny, you know, slightly, slightly not all the way there, and cute what? and sex symbol. First of all, I'm very sexy. I think I am. Some girls like this shit. Yeah, I mean, but I just finished filming Unsolved, and I had the pedophile mustache, Unsolved. so I had to let this shit grow in instead of going just all bare Oh, you definitely came in looking pedophilish. What? So no, I'm have congratulations. Not. The Tom Selleck. That's what it was. They gave me the time selling. You know, time everybody's selling. been asking, where's Gio? Where's Gio? They thought, you know, you got replaced. F- fired. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> anybody <laughs> missing more than two shows, they always think they and got replaced. Can I just say, like, True. can we take time off? Like, mm-hmm. I love the fact that we've developed a show where people love us and they love, well, they love us and they, they love to hate us, right? Yeah. They think they hate us. But, but the minute we put out a notice us. that we're taking a year off, oh my God, <laughs> a year you're off. Go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm happy to be back, man, and I think uh, I want to We're happy thank, to have you back, yeah. honestly. Shout out to Kendall and mm-hmm. um, Roxy, everybody that came through and held my seat down. Yeah. yeah, it was good to see Roxy here. I mean, you guys just had the all-female uh, show. Mm-hmm. I, I've never really talked to Roxy. Really? Yeah, we've never really had a conversation. Oh. Man, I've been knowing Roxy for a long time. How? Yeah. She was on um, 92, 92.3 back home in my hometown of Indiana, was that syndicated because she was in Chicago? Something no, like that? that's when she was on. This was like years she before 106. There? This was years before. Did she uh, live in the city of Gary? Yeah. Oh, well, probably Chicago. No, she li- didn't live in Gary, but I think she probably lived like in Calumet City or something. Okay. But this was years before uh, 106 Apart. Ah. Yeah, we, we threw a party together one day and we danced together and shit. Oh, was, I bet you anything she don't remember that shit. Actually, she she might not. Yeah, she probably doesn't. <laughs> no, I, I've just never, and I, it's not that I've never talked to her for nothing. It's just that we've never really crossed paths to sit down and have a conversation. And I will tell you, uh, I have become, I just bought a, a PlayStation. Uh-huh. That's about to, you, bought the, you bought a plane. No, I bought a PlayStation. Yeah. I wish I could afford a plane. <laughs> so I'm becoming more and more of a hermit. Uh-huh. I just am becoming less interested in talking to people. It's not that I don't want to for any other reason other than I just... And, oh. now, and now you see why I always was trying to stay home. Is Come that on, aging? No. What is it? No, it's just the pressure, the new pressure that you face with being a little, a lot more visible. Mm-hmm. You want to stay the fuck out the, the, yeah. the spotlight. Yes. A normal person does. There's other people that are just so thirsty for that. De- they have desert level thirst to be desert always talked thirst. about. They don't care. Well, listen, whether I, it's good I can bad. tell you that I... <laughs> used to enjoy going to Starbucks for oatmeal without <laughs> wondering what I'm wearing or mm. wondering if I comb my hair. I mean, I literally, you have to no, always be have ready to. now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, ever since my new apartment is so cozy and lavish up in there, I don't even go out no Lavish, more. you said lavish. I'm lavish. coming over just to see if it qualifies I will, please, as being lavish. But wait, you will keep it 100. So, I bet you you so, say lavish. So lavish doesn't mean you you eat off of like TV dinner stands Oh, no, and I got like all that. the essentials. I got the I got the, the dinner plates, the glasses, the silverware. I got the accoutrement, the plants. What is accoutrement? Because you said that a couple of times on the you show. You know, like the little, the little shit, you know what I'm saying? And spell it. A uh G O T O hell. That's okay. exactly. <laughs> well, um, I, I'll be honest with you. Uh, none of you have been to my house. Mm-mm. I've not been to your house. Mm-hmm. I haven't been to your house. I've been to your apartment. I haven't been inside. Yeah, most people don't get that invitation. I just don't. I just like to be by myself. I love. I love. And I love hosting. I love when people come visit me in my new spot. I love it. Okay, well, so what have you been? What have you been up to? Because I haven't seen you in a while. I mean, I feel like we talked the other day briefly. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was in Mexico. How was we that? Saw, birthday oh, trip. I saw that. Yeah. yeah I warned everybody. Wait, what birthday trip for what? Your birthday was years ago. <laughs> Listen, I'm a, Scorp- I'm a Scorpio. We celebrate all fucking month. Okay. okay. So, so was it a birthday trip for who? It was a birthday trip for me and my girlfriend, Arzo. No, your birthday was years ago. 
What? Months ago. It was this month, November. Uh, but we've already celebrated. Once we blew the candles out, that shit was so over right. for me. Okay, well, it wasn't over for me. I wanted to go away. So I went to Mexico. Okay. And yeah, uh, yeah I do a trip every year for my birthday. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I went with a, a girlfriend, her homie lover friend. I don't know what the homie hell they lover. are. And um, So is her new boyfriend, Arzo's new boyfriend, is he attractive? Yeah, he does not look anywhere close to the one that you were t- the from the not gay. Reality show. No, he's the he's very far from gay. Did she see our show where I talked about her? Yeah, she was so <laughs> fucking annoyed with you. <laughs> Sorry, Arzo. She Who's was, Arzo? She was on uh, my show Blood, Sweat, and Heels with oh. me second season. So um, when people watch the show that we talk about, do you ever encounter people? Either one of you, do you ever encounter people that see our show and like are mad at something we talked about? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. That happens to him all <laughs> oh, the time. Oh yeah, really? It happened to me twice. I mean. I've squashed with one of them. We we back to cool. And one of them, she just still fucking hates my guts. Was it, is it Moniz? Moniz and Nia Riley. Yeah. Me, me and Nia, we squashed it. We made up. We lo- I love her. Moniz, I tried, but she. I swear, I'll be looking right into the Satan soul. So let me say, Moniz has went online after our Masika interview, yeah. um, and she's basically said Did set up the, the interview. Show? Yeah, right. But she wanted to come that very next day. I told her I was booked and busy. Mm. <laughs> Here's what I will say to Moniz and to everybody saying, please have Moniz have on. Please, have Moniz is welcome to the show as a guest. I love Moniz, man. If we're filming it on Love and Hip Hop. Dang, that was deep. That's it. Why? So if I go back this season, then oh. we can do it. Because okay. there's no other benefit to do it for what? Oh, okay. Every opinion I have, I'm going to keep. Right. The only person that's mm-hmm. able to come on this show and change my mind is Amber Rose. That's it. Okay, so wait. I have a I have a serious question for you. Yeah. Very legitimate question. Okay. Okay? So I warned everybody that I was going to kind of thirst trap while I was in <laughs> Man, Mexico. Man, I was about to say. <laughs> um, I mean, it's easy. You know, all you do is throw on a balcony. Balcony. Fuck, oh, my God. Is there a God. question so here? The I'm, I'm falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Throw that balcony on. And this is also a question for you, Gio. Yeah. Do you think that as a woman who is involved in a relationship with a guy mm-hmm. that I'm wrong for- Absolutely. A- Shut I, up. I, no, I saw your Instagram let or me- Snapchat the other day and I said to myself, "Ain't no, it, okay, let me put myself in a- You never let me finish. I, yeah. You ain't got to finish because I, I, I know, finish. I know the ahead. question. Okay, go ahead. The guy who was rubbing oil on me oh. uh-huh. was- Gay. Don't care. Very gay. Nope. Like not it. We were just we were just comparing. Can I answer you know, the question now? Okay, fine. Okay. Number you wouldn't one, rub oil on number me. Number one. Num- no, I absolutely not. <laughs> number <laughs> one. Uh, I have a problem when I'm in a relationship with somebody. Unless we have an open relationship, which nobody I date can handle that because. If, if we're open, that means I can use all my resources to keep being as open as I can, and mm-hmm. then you don't have the same resources. Your shit's a little closed up. Mm-hmm. I have a problem when people are in relationships and they do anything that is perceived to be not in a relationship. Well, Meaning if, letting anybody touch and rub on you. Well, if it's somebody like uh, Amber Rose, that's what she was doing before she got in a relationship, then it's cool. But so if she, wait, wait, I don't know. I don't know where he went with that, but let me go no, back. No, what I'm saying is if it's a woman before she, okay, Melissa Ford, for example. L- yeah, exactly. Wait, where, why are we weighing a topic? We were talking about what she was doing. I Did something just... happen? Wait, no, but we were talking about no, no, no. I just what wa- you've no, been no, up no. to. So I just want to, because I, because I really, really wanted your opinion on this. Now, you also have to remember, you also have to remember, I've been in the game for 20 years. I started off as a model. Hold on. No, 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 hold on. I'm just so, confused. No, no, no. So, so, you know, gay men have been my my, my hairstylist. They, they've can, rubbed can just, oil on me we, for videos. We before, can we just connect the dots? Is this because you were in a relationship and something happened? No. Oh, no, no. Here's the thing is he doesn't have a problem with it. Okay. He has no problem with it. But everybody, I had a couple of people chastising me on okay. my page of, doesn't she have a man? Why would she let that? I'm just like, you have to understand I, my sensitivity level to like gay men putting their hands on me because I'm so yeah. used to it. Like having been like, you know, modeling and, and whatever See, else. They dress me. They put makeup on me. They do my Listen. hair. It's so it's just like, okay. And so, it's not a sexual so thing for you them. Want, you want my opinion? My you, asked, you asked for our opinion, and, but you're giving us your defense. In my defense. In my in my in my opinion, at the time with my girl, I couldn't. I don't even. I didn't like seeing gay dudes touching my girl because my mind. He still got a dick. That's just my way of thinking. Mm. Yeah, well, I don't know any about. I mean, I don't know about that. But I just think in general, if you're in a relationship, you shouldn't be having anybody rub all over your body. Period. So I shouldn't let like a girl even put rub no. oil on me. Shit. No, your man is your man gonna get the fuck. Damn. That's that's a terrible equivalent. No, it's, it isn't because it's, it's not because, equal. Let me tell you why it's equal. Because it's not an equal. Let me tell you why it's equal. People in relationships stop, have to stop this whole dog and meat shit that y'all do. Mm. You know what that is? No. Where you wave this thing in front of your man that he can't have. Give him the meat, 
or don't bring it out the pack. My man gets all the meat. No, but he ain't getting the other girl that you're letting rub down your body. Why would I let him have the girl? What does she have to do with it? Be, why is she rubbing your body? He because said I he need got oil a, on my motherfucking back and I, I can't reach. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. You need to stop cussing like a sailor or you need to sign up for the U.S. government. <laughs> <laughs> to his point, he started getting aroused when you asked the question. Your man would get aroused if another woman was rubbing on his girl. But he can't fuck, so why would you create the arousal that he can't have? Because I can't reach all the way on well, then, the middle of my back. Then stop tanning. What? Well, I get or both just of lay it in your bathtub and roll I get around. her too. Like if she out there, she needs somebody to get the middle man drift her back. Who's gonna do it? The gay boy of her or her female friend? But I guess he's just saying you ain't got to put it on social media. Well, I'm not gonna. If I'm dating somebody, I should be at the beach rubbing the oil on them. But I will say else. this, Miss Ford, my dear. Mm. Now you know I love you, and I, I platonically yes, you, platonically yes. <laughs> and I never look at you like this, but <clears throat> them gram snaps. <laughs> I said I would risk it all for that. You had me thinking a lot crazy shit that you I don't want to think no more. But you're, you're single now, so it's not risky. Much. Well, I am not. I, this, I, we work together. I not, so I would. I yeah, never want to feel that way. That. I never want. No, don't no, put no print in that. No, not you. Oh, I never want to feel that way again. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Well, I well, mean, you we'll know, join I, the club because I don't feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> but it did look like you had a great time yes. in Mexico. I just, I just. <laughs> I, but the one thing I did <laughs> think that you did. I mean. You have become a thought on Instagram. I'm not a thought. <laughs> You're a thought. You are. You're just an asshole. No, I am. I own it though. You but really I love are you. an asshole. No, I am. It's not, I'm not owning. I'm not owning being <laughs> oh, no, a I, fucking no, thought on Instagram. No, I'm sorry, I do not, not agree with him. You have Thank not you. become a thought. I'm not. La- I'm not You're fucking not sitting thought. around twerking. I'm not fucking. You know, showing my fucking. You know, moose knuckle. I'm not doing. I'm, I'm so. I am so fucking basic on. Is that a on, big ass camel toe? Yes. A moose knuckle. Yes. Listen. Yes. I am so basic when it comes to just like I'm flirtatious with it. Don't don't even you do that. You leave a lot shit. to the imagination. I, I do will leave say a that. lot to listen, the motherfucking you imagination. Can't, you can't get you listen. You I am an asshole. Yeah. I wait I have trademarked asshole. If you look in the dictionary, asshole is right there next to a big old hole. It's just me. <laughs> asshole. No, Trump would be right there next to well, you. Well, I'm too. right next That's to true. Trump. <laughs> but listen, I looked at your Instagram and I'm like your come hithers are just so you call it flirtatious. I'm sorry, I'm sexy. You I are made sexy. a fucking business out of it. I've you been are, in the game you for twenty years. I say this: you are sexy. It. When I saw him, but they I can wasn't. Still be, they can still be thoughtish. No. Nah, I didn't get thoughtish. I got. I ain't gonna lie. My mind created this visual of what it could be you like. You heard music playing. Yeah, when you see, I, I didn't. It, I didn't think thoughty or sluttish. I was like, damn. I wonder what. It okay, would be but like why this. is being a thought a, a bad thing? I don't that think it's a term. That hoe over there. <laughs> That hoe over there. <laughs> Look at that hoe over there. Well, listen, nobody so, spells the acronym out. Nigga. <laughs> No. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you asked. Because when I did look no. at your Instagram, I said, that hoe over there is <laughs> <laughs> oh, That hoe over there need to stop. Okay, look. Okay, I had a fucking grand old time in Mexico. <laughs> I was with friends, so I got no dick. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that's good. it. That's good. No, it's well, not good. It's listen, abs- it's absolutely Shout shady. out to all the girls on Instagram. Uh, them hoes over there doing their thing, too. Yes, yes, that's yes. I, yes. I, think, I think that's a slippery slope to just like <laughs> pigeonhole all women who... You know, show a sexier side to themselves as hoes. I think that's fucking I, listen, wrong. I don't think that it's wrong. I think it is what it is. And what, and what really annoys me is, wait, wait, house, is how some women can get away listen, with it. Can like, you come, oh, darling, darling, being goddess, darling, and then over here, it's like, darling, the I don't know there. the conversations that you've had this morning. Yes, they got you all worked up, but let me just calm you down a bit. I haven't I'm not putting you minute. in a category with all the little humper necks or the moose necks or the chicken necks or whatever hoe necks is out there. <laughs> I'm not saying all women, so please spare me the slut walk campaign that's about to follow this commentary I'm not, that's not what I'm, doing. I'm only saying that if i see and men too i feel like there's a lot of thoughty men online that do thoughty shit you know i haven't been in the gym long enough to have that experience but i tell you once i get there i'm going to be online being a thought too there's nothing wrong with it what's wrong with being a thought it's a, is it bad to be a thought i don't think a picture of jeff surprised by being a thought some people just like the you know like it for instagramification like me like the pitch i put up the other day operation nobody Jawline. thought you was a thought no not right now <laughs> You said Operation Jawline. You come yeah. in, You got this. You you got this cross color Crockett hat on. I don't know what is going on with you. You came <laughs> in. Bubba. I was waiting for Kid and Play and Chris Cross. I know to you're come not out. talking to that. You came in here with them goddamn uh, uh, blue blocker glasses with them, blue grills, with them grills in your damn. Mouth. Oh no, I looked crazy, <laughs> but I did that for the purpose of looking crazy. Are you talking about the day we had Cardi B here? 
Shout out to Cardi B, who's nominated for two Grammys. Yes. I know. Congrats to her. She's had a 2017 oh. that is just. I saw her last week, know. and she she showed me a lot you of You went love. to Playhouse? When she no, was at Playhouse? I'm banned from Playhouse. <laughs> what? I don't know why. What'd you do there, ho? I can't even get the. <laughs> listen, but I own it. Melissa, I'm going to need you to just. Listen, you got to. This Betty Crocker shit you be on I'm not even. I'm not claiming to be innocent Look, I'm about either. To, I'm about to piss her off on this I'm show. I'm not claiming to be innocent either. I'm claiming. Look, you I'm, do I'm, claim I'm, to be innocent. I'm, I'm, I'm ratchet, no, you know, I'm ratchet no, and no. righteous. Let me tell you. No, no, let me, no, no. Thanks, Charlamagne. In the, time, in the year and so many months I've known Melissa and been around her sober, drunk, having a blast. She has fun, but I can tell that Melissa, excuse my language, is a hoe for her man. <laughs> That's yeah. what I get oh, from her. Totally. That's what I get from her. Okay, but totally. okay, but did listen. I, did I get it good? Listen, gotcha. we all have to learn how to let our hair down a little. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with owning a little bit of wholeness for her man. Yeah. For anything, for the gram, for your man, for whatever. But anyway, okay, enough about you. You was in Mexico. <laughs> yes. A gay nigga rubbed you down. <clears throat> yes. Did anybody get mad that a gay nigga rubbed you down? Uh, there was a couple of self-righteous motherfuckers in my page talking about, you know, I shouldn't let another man touch me even though he's as gay as a box of cupcakes with sprinkles on them. So, you know, wow. he's, he has no interest in me. His dick stayed Well, lit. God bless. What have you been working on? Hey, man, well, like I say, I just finished rapping season one of Unsolved. Come on, man. Congratulations, God is dude. good, man. I'm so excited. I'm, hey, so, I'm so ecstatic, man. Anthony Hemingway, shout out to him. USA Network comes out in January. And, uh, That's going to be on USA? Yeah. Oh. That's yeah. so dope. And y'all should come with me to the rap party December 16th. Fuck yeah. I would love for y'all to come with me. I'm going to show out. That's a few, few days before my birthday. So, mm-hmm. um, And then, you know, just sell into my new place. And uh, How does know. it feel to... When I was in a relationship and had to go and sleep by myself. Oh, it's the mm-hmm. worst. That's, don't you go through some it's kind of the, depression? It's the worst. Like, I find myself getting up like 2, 3 in the morning and just going for walks. Mm. Straight up. Like, it's the worst. It hasn't encouraged you to, like, you know, run or anything? Oh, oh, and I just started We're with my training. We're not going to do any no, fat I started, I wasn't. no, no, listen. I just started since I'm done with the, the role of Reggie White, who's about the size of Jason in real life. You always seem to get these wait, particular can I, roles. Wait, can I, can I say something? Can I say something? Gain wait, can I say weight. something? Because you, you was about to throw shade at me. No, 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 no. You was about, no, to, throw, no, you about to throw shade and I'm here for it. Can I, can I say something? What? Why does Gio always say the size of Jason as if he's smaller than me? <laughs> I am smaller than you, Jason. I don't know. Listen, Gio, Thanksgiving, I love you, but I don't Thanksgiving know about was over last week, but when you came in, I looked at your thighs and I said, Well, I have Jesus. big legs. Girls love my legs. Ain't no girl holding on to your legs preventing you from leaving the Anyway, house. I just started with my trainer today, Christina K. God bless she about her. She to got get to... me right. That's why I said Operation Jawline is about to come into full effect. You might need some Brotox. Nah, hell nah. Since the, the grammar. About to come to full effect. The jawline is when you get that, that cocaine face. Mm. That that sucked in face. Pause. I know all about it. And then that's it, man. And, and um, <laughs> Canal Street comes out in March. We just have to screen it for that for Sony. So Sony picked it How up. How come we weren't invi- invited to it the It was screening? just for the cast. Mm. Um, I, I was booked and busy. So it was the first anyway. time I met Makai Pfeiffer. And, <laughs> oh, no way. Yeah, he's in it. And I'm it, about to put yeah. a picture of me and him on uh, Throwback Thursday. Do you, are you friends with Makai? I, I, he's in the movie, but I just met him at the screen. I'm going to give you some tea so you can call him really quick and get it. He's one of the funniest people I've ever he's met. Nice. He had sex with a person who's been on our show in a car outside in North Hollywood. I won't tell you the name on the air, but you can call him and ask him. We've all done that. No, but Makai Pfeiffer shouldn't have his little hairy butt crack in the window of a car. <laughs> How long ago was that? I'll tell you okay. at the break. Okay. Right. But anyway, I'm glad that you're back, and <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I'm glad back. that you're back and working with your trainer. Although she has her job cut out for herself, I believe as a former dancer that you have everything, all the wherewithal, the uh, wherewithal to I'm figure it out. That. Listen, <laughs> losing this weight in a month is finna be a breeze. Bullshit. Trust. <laughs> really? Okay. Y'all want to put some money down on this shit? No. I will. I guarantee you, I will lose twenty five pounds in four weeks. Listen, I am here for four it, more. and I am supporting you. And when I leave here, I am going to the gym too. We are gonna have a weight off. I no, told this you. is what we need to do. Blue collar. We need the weight off. We are gonna do it before now because right now I'm two sixty four mm-hmm. solid. Mm. You about what three <laughs> thirty? Don't try it. <laughs> don't try it. <laughs> let me go get my weight. Let me go get my scale out the trunk and put you on it. I don't know the capacity, uh-huh. but I'm sure it'll look interesting. It'll be like Christmas. That motherfucker start lighting up. But I, no, 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 I mean, no, congratulations that you're Thank working you. on Gio, yourself. hold on. And how, I spent Thanksgiving alone. Okay, that's sad, but how tall are you? Uh, 5'12". The, 
I need him to stop right now. That's okay. Mario's down the street. We'll have him come and do a fat index. What do you call it? Body <laughs> mass index? Yeah. Uh, Listen, and I ran into Hollywood Hino, too. Congratulations on everything. All jokes aside, Thank we all hear all of us on the radio. We support each other. I love mm-hmm. you. Know, I'm going to support you to continue to eat whatever ham hocks you're eating. <laughs> and Melissa, you know, you and your little thoughty Instagram, I'm here for it. I would really like it if both of you came to a training session with me and Hino. Oh, I'm not there no, yet. Mm, mm. I got to get back to See, Hino, see, look. I'll see what he do. Go ahead, Jason. What about you, my good man? So, have I been here since the Latin Grammys? Uh, I don't. <laughs> you went to the I Latin went to Grammys? the Latin Grammys. Yeah. Yes, yes, so, yes. Well, have I been here since yeah. then? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, then I won't talk about the Latin Grammys. Yeah. I don't know what I've... I've just been working so much. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do. But what I'm excited about is that Hollywood Unlocked is finally launching merch. Oh, and yeah. so we're starting with the holidays, and we got a bunch of um, amazing products. But one of the shirts is a... Uh, ho, 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 bitch. Ho ho ho, bitch shirt. But there's a there's a I slay there's a slay shirt. I gotta get it. Slay my name, slay my name. Mm. With a deer that looks like Beyonce. I saw these graphic <laughs> designs, y'all. They are fucking dope. They're really creative. So hopefully, yeah. you know, people support it. And if you're listening online, follow Hollywood Unlocked and find our merch page and buy. Did you see Bo at the Latin Grammys? No, but we actually talked. He didn't make it to the Latin Grammys. He was hosting. It t- Bo, you're talking about Casper yeah. Smart. Mm-hmm. He's actually hosting the Latin version of "So You Think You Can Dance" in Miami. So he had to go Damn. there. Yeah, cha ching. Yeah, certainly we got the one and only quad in here. You know, we've been trying to get you in for a while. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, all these emails keep coming back and forth. So finally, we figured it out, and you're here looking fabulous. Man, let me Thank tell you, you something, fellas. She is bad. <laughs> <laughs> so um, who's you? you, you, you I've, we talked be, before we started that yeah. the last time I saw you, we were in New York. Yes. Um, of course, I wasn't as memorable to you as you oh, were to me. Oh, don't do that to me. <laughs> don't do that to me. But we were at a party and um, you were with Toya Wright. That's yes. a friend. That's a good friend of mine. And uh, Delicia Cordon. Yes. yes, a very good friend of mine. And so they're always snatched and I'm looking at you. So are you just, in the, is fashion your thing? Fashion is definitely one of my things. Okay. I have a lot of things. I also love cooking, but definitely mm. I'm a fashion girl. Uh, when I come through, I shut it down. Mm. So oh, just, that's right. That's my goal. So I was just telling Marlo Hampton the other day, yes. uh, I have not really been to Atlanta since Visions was open. Do you oh, remember wow, that? Oh, wow, that's a long time ago. Really? I, well, let me back up. I've been to Atlanta since yeah. then, but I haven't been into the scene. Like Visions was, I mean, if you go to Atlanta, you have yeah. to go to Visions. What's but, Visions? Mm-hmm. Never been to So Visions. it's like one of the, it was one of the hottest nightclubs in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. For those of us, Thank you, Gio. For, I keep forgetting for our audience, those of us that aren't in the popular scene or don't travel <laughs> often, <laughs> visions of the nightclub that used to be popping across from 112. Yeah. Okay, so I haven't been to like the Gold Room. I haven't mm-hmm. been to any of that stuff yeah. in Atlanta, but Marlo. Gold Room, it, Compound. Mm. Um, it's a lot. It's a number of clubs that's doing their thing. So do there. you like Atlanta? You know what? I do love Atlanta. Atlanta has been very good to me, but I, I make Atlanta work. Okay. Um, I think in any situation, you should make it work for you. Mm-hmm. Um, I love LA too. But you're from Memphis. Absolutely. Ooh, okay, now let me, ta- let me tell you about Memphis. I I've, I've went to Memphis one time for a convention. Uh-huh. And they got great barbecue. They oh, have you know amazing we do. barbecue. Girl. I mean, of course, for somebody like me and, of course, Gio, <laughs> you know, we have to be careful. But um, it's really dry there, too. Is it slow? What I mean, there's. I didn't even know the crime rate was so high in Memphis. Well, yeah, you know, it's it's a serious situation. You need to watch where you're going and watch what you say. I always say, watch your mouth, save your teeth. You want to do that? That's a, that's a grandma saying. You want to do that? You want to do that? No, but the, and there's good music. Um, I was just with Yogati the mm-hmm. other day. He's from mm-hmm. Memphis. Absolutely. So growing up in Memphis, tell me about that because you, that's where you're from. Yeah, I, actually, Yogati and I went to to high school together. Really, we went to Tresvin together. Um, it's you know what it, it's a place that raised me. I learned a lot from Memphis. Um, there are some things that I wish could improve in Memphis, um, but I, I I can't take anything away from. It. I learned a lot. I learned a wealth of knowledge. Um, I was blessed to see both sides of the coin. Mm. Right. I grew up in a um, two family home. Both my mom and dad were still together oh, until my um, until my father da- died about three years ago. Mm. Um, you know, and it, it, life happens. It's going to yep. happen to me too. Yep. You know? It's going to happen to all of us. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, Damn, I and, just got depressed. Don't get, no, 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 no. <laughs> Miss Quad too. is in the building. We don't get depressed, baby. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. But um, I, I think too, I, I, I was fortunate to see, you know, what not to do and, and the struggles of Memphis as well. So, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, you're you when you come out of Memphis, if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. Like in terms of racial in- inequality and Oh, such. social inequality, mm-hmm. weight, racial inequality. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, social appropriation. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's so many things that I can just jot off. Education mm-hmm. uh, for, for everyone is, is just not what it needs to be. I mean, honestly, 
there's a lot of churches on every corner. There's also a lot of liquor stores on every corner, mm-hmm. but the educational level is not where it needs yeah. to be, right. in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would definitely like to see my city grow in mean, that area. A, I got a good friend that come. He's a dancer by a little buck from Memphis, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Like was on tour with Madonna. Mm-hmm. Got so huge, like he got his own shoe with Versace. Love that. As a dancer from Memphis, Tennessee. Absolutely. So. And, oh, and, and another it, thing I love there too is that uh, the the Martin Luther King Civil Rights Museum. Yes. I went yes. to that. I mean, Hotel. I mean, it's really touching mm-hmm. because if you've never been there for those listening, when you go through it, it literally takes you on the journey of African Americans mm-hmm. from s- slavery and just all the way through to uh, when Martin Luther King died. died yes. There in that in that place, in the Lorraine uh, Hotel. Yes, yeah. 1968. Oh, wow. yeah. I would love to see that. And it's the actual the the place that they've preserved is the actual room where he was assassinated. Oh, absolutely. They still got the cars yeah. and stuff. Everything, out there. the Every- cars, the the coffee that he drank that morning, the Bible that he read. Wow. Everything is still the it's exact really same. I would yeah. love to see that. You should go. So you Seriously. leave so you leave this holier than thou city and you find yourself all the way <laughs> gallivanting across Atlanta where these reality stars are hooking up with Africans for automobiles. Okay. Well, you do know. you do you guys all what is <laughs> I, I know it's what they say online. I, oh, well you can't me, believe everything you Wanda say. Rose <laughs> Royce, go to Real Housewives of you Atlanta. You cannot believe everything you read online, but Well Claudia you know. Jordan was here too and she was kinda of spilling tea. I don't know. But I, I wish I could have I would sleep with an African today if I could get a Rolls Royce. It is what it is. Well, did did love bring you to Atlanta or was it work related? No, or? no, 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 no. Absolutely. I've always been on my grind. Mm-hmm. I, you know, my mantra is uh, focus over fun. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, so I was in, I, like um, I was actually in capital equipment. I was a medical sales rep mm-hmm. and um, I knew that I wanted to move. I wanted to leave Tennessee. I went to school in Nashville. Shouts mm-hmm. out to Tennessee State University, mm-hmm. HBCU. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, I was with a medical device company and said, hey, you can you can move. It's fine with us, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but you do cover the southeast region, mm-hmm. and you can't go too far west. So right. I knew California was out of the picture. Although I love Cali, mm-hmm. um, and it was between at that point Houston or Atlanta. I didn't very know very much about Houston at the time. Right? Houston's popping. The people popping. It is popping. They out there with it. They out there with it. Boy. So so at the time, I didn't know much, but I knew a lot about Atlanta. So I I, I actually, when I was in college, um, I would actually go to Atlanta just on a weekend just so I can be motivated, Mm -hmm. so I can be stimulated, so I can see people who look like me Mm -hmm. doing their thing, you know, driving the nice cars, living in the nice homes. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow, this is really obtainable. And I knew it was because my father instilled that in me at a young age. So Mm -hmm. when Nashville got a little bit too lily. Mm. Lily, <laughs> hey, you know, I said, let, let you, me hit wait, it today. Bu- sorry to cut you off. You sure, said no both worries. your parents raised you, or your grandma raised you, because I got this, this just this grandma's vibe from you. Oh, that, don't tell me, I'm too fat. Not I'm like that, but I'm just down. saying, like you said, Lily, and then old, you said old soul. this old soul, because yeah, like, yeah. you know, I, I got an old soul to me. But yeah. I mean, all Southerners have that yeah, that, that, that knee high to a June bug kind of come through. Let's do it. So. I, I, I was raised in a foster home, and oh, th- those gosh. people were Asian, so I don't know half the shit you <laughs> Negroes are saying. Oh. So, so you find your way to Atlanta. Right. Are you friends with these other people? Who because there's a lot of reality stars and a lot of people just in music and everything. Are you? Is there a small community down there where everybody kind of knows each other? So you know, Atlanta can be very cliquish. Uh, mm. I love Atlanta, but Atlanta is all about. What, what you got what going you got? on? What's yes. your status? Who you mm-hmm. with? Who you know? What you, you know what I'm saying? What car you drive? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, what well, house you live in? Mm-hmm. So is, is it so that so the black people treat other black people down there? The white people treat us like that out here? No, 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 mm-hmm. no. I don't want to. Well, the, well, I don't want to say it like that. I just want to say people like to be around like minds. How about that, Spin? Okay, okay. Right? That's you wanna, good. Right? You could be so a like, publicist. So like you. Oh, you so know, like I could, be, I could be an attorney. So like, <laughs> so like you and Nene, do you guys move in the same circle? Oh God, yeah. Like. Like uh, Nini and I hang out, you know, time to time. We we Kiki and Leg Slap. We have great dinners together. She's a fun Kiki girl. Kiki and Leg Slap. Absolutely. Um, uh, I, I, a number of them. Marlo is cool. Cynthia. You know, Cynthia is a, a sweetheart. Love com- Cynthia. Complete yeah. a complete sweetheart. Mm. Uh, Candy is a hustler. She's always on a grind, which I love. That that's my Taurus sister. So when you so when you so when you saw that that girl said that Candy ran a sex dungeon and she was up there um, doing all kinds <laughs> of crazy stuff, did you say, "Thank God that ain't on my show"? See, I can't really say that either because Phaedra's a friend of mine as well. Is she? She is. Phaedra's she just is. getting into modeling. Well, and she looked damn good on the pictures. Mm. Don't take nothing away from her. Don't take nothing away from her now. When did her ass get that big? She's always had a big Mama, ass. Mama's toad. Mama, Mama's like, from Athens. That ass being in the funeral home looking at. Like, she's always had a I only very, met, very big ass. I only met Phaedra one time. Mm. 
See, I remember meeting you and you were so nice and sweet. Yes. And you were so put together, had the fur coat. I mean, you just, everything that night. Looking you like were really, boss. really polite. I only met Phaedra one time. Uh, she probably doesn't remember either. Um, it was at the Essence Festival, not last year, but the year before. She was being rushed because, you know, the Essence mm. crowd, everybody's yeah, very famous. busy. Mm -hmm. It's very just too busy. much. But uh, she, I didn't really walk away impressed. Mm. Okay. So well, I, I see you guys as being two ass. different type of people. Yeah, but then again, you're not getting any now, so you would. But wait a minute. What's up with you? Uh, so, you how, so, how, slow so did you all become <laughs> did you all become friends in Atlanta? Yeah, actually, we 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 did. Um, a lot of these women, of course, like I said, I'm not I'm not Atlanta bred. I'm I'm right. from Memphis, ten. You right. know, mm -hmm. but um, I, I like to think that no matter where I go, I don't meet a stranger. Mm. You know, if uh, if you got an issue with me, that's an issue you want to have. <laughs> Mm. But that's an issue I can solve. Damn, how <laughs> you gonna be? You nice, okay, but so you mean because this is. Time. But this is what I'm trying to find out because Le Lisa's, they're called steel magnolias down there. <laughs> listen, I'm, Mama, try I'm trying. I'm trying to yes, figure it out because <laughs> listen, Quad. I've seen her twice now. I'm saying she's so put together. But Lisa right. said you were a hood ass bitch. So I'm oh, trying who to was find Lisa? It. this girl. We, we are fast do, do, tracking. Do we know her? We <laughs> do we know her? Do we know her? Oh, the person that got fired. Yes. Oh, baby, you can't keep a check. I did not even see. I don't see. So I'm trying to pull that out. So what, where did that come from? Was that just her trying to be have this storyline uh, in the show? I'm talking about Lisa. You, you, you know, uh, and we're not going to waste too much time because this is very valuable time yeah. that I'm spending with you, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So let Damn. me just say this. Um, I think sometimes when people are not uh, entertaining, they lean more towards the drama mm. because they just want camera time. You don't we talked say. about that earlier. So they're a little thirsty for the camera time. So I say, oh, well, level who, thirst. who's the one that's popping on the show? Who's the one that's well loved well, on the, the show? You're the only one I know who's from the, the show. Who's the one that everyone <laughs> wants to be around on the show? Mm. Damn, that's Miss Quad. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let me see what I can do to get under her skin. Maybe I get a little shine. So the older, so I just the, sprinkled it. The with older it. lady that's a veterinarian. What is her name? There's no veterinarians on our show, but I do love dogs. I have two, Chloe and Kari, my little girls. <laughs> Watch you. <laughs> Oh, okay. Wait, no, we have to get back to that because I, I have a puppy yes. and I'm going to need some apparel yes. for her. Oh my God. And absolutely. She's a, she's How many pounds is she? She's three and a half. Oh, Easy. I got you. Okay. Cause I, I wish find, I would have known that cause I would have brought that with me. I can't find Can I just say that the shade of this show is not supposed she's to got be that, shady. She got that nice. She oh, has that Southern that, Belle yeah. shade. She flipped her fan and got a glass of lemonade. <laughs> and uncrossed that leg once. <laughs> and so, and so you would still hire Phaedra as an attorney? <laughs> She's never represented me, but she is a person that um, is very wise, very smart. Um, I think Bobby it, Brown might have something to say about that. You know, well, you know, you're speaking to Quad now. Yeah. So she's a person who's uh, very smart. Yeah. Um, she's a person a who's nice wise voice. and she has uh, a great conversation. See, you're a friend I'm going to need to have because, I mean, uh, the yeah. one Don't thing, try the, to jam me up, baby. Not with my James. friends. Only, You'll never do the it. The only thing I'm trying to do with Phaedra is find Apollo's address because that <laughs> motherfucker's so damn fine. <laughs> he's got, I mean, well, he's got a fiance. That don't mean uh, Shit to me. Uh, it shouldn't be hard. Don't you just go on to the federal business? What is the federal government? What's the FBOB? No, no, the, that's the, what you the correction. The corrections. Know, know, know. Department. You worked in yeah, corrections. The federal corrections. I like, I like yeah, a situation. good man with a record you, and a, a little edge to it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Yes, quad. Okay. Yes, honey. Yes. You have to teach Jason how to throw shade, but on that nice subliminal tone. No, I know yeah. how to. No, oh, I've been throwing to... it at you all morning. Ooh. I've been hearing that shit, but I've been just, you know. You've been dodging. Okay, now hold on a second here. Now, So, Quad, I really want to talk to you about the actual show and, yeah, let's talk and, about it. and being on Bravo. You all yeah. are Bravo sisters. I yeah, am, absolutely. Absolutely. Let her okay. do a track segue, man. I would actually love to see you, you on Bravo again. Treadmill. I would I would love to be on Bravo, but they let you get attacked and left for dead. You should have been Jason, on Love can and I ask can I ask her the question? Sorry. Okay. So oh, the God. show is called Married to Medicine. You are all, you know, very dignified Beautiful women, mm -hmm. um, not all of them with with careers. Yes. Not all of them. Only one that so matters right now. So uh, I would be interested to find out how is it that they solicited you to be on the show? Because my le the solicitation for me yeah. was we are going to be be the antithesis of those other shows, mm. and you know what shows I'm well, talking well, about. Then that, that's how they sell you. Show. I'm not it. Uh, <laughs> you guys solve combat. You guys solve conflict with combat. That's mm. the truth. That's so, just what happened. So and we were po we were poised to be the show that did just the opposite. Sure. We we're gonna solve conflict <laughs> with our words. Yeah. And you believed it. As she said. Bitch, that, yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Girl, yes. No, it's all good. It's all good. I, no, I, no, I no, 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 here's the thing. And, and, and maybe that's what the producers set out to be whatever however um you really can't predetermine how someone is going to respond True right that. you know because see for me i can talk and tussle with you all day baby you won't win yeah. however i would never want to strike a woman but i was forced mm -hmm. into that situation with a uh, yeah what's it? I, I can't with, remember is that the, the girl, girl with the glass 
Yeah. Do you see how beautiful my face is? <laughs> and she tried to Dang. ruin that. Looking thing. like a cinnamon toast. <laughs> oh, nice cinnamon toast. That's your complexion. Put a little chocolate on it. So to her oh. question, yeah. when you guys are on set, are you expecting these people to start acting like animals? No, actually, I'm, I'm really not expecting them to, uh, you know, act like animals. However, in, in certain situations when we all come together, um, you know, I do expect for there to be something. There's going to be some tension. There's going to be something someone is going to say to try to provoke an emotion from you, right? But you also hope that they're going to act like human beings you and, do. and not, but you know. But nobody want to watch that. And, and I want to thing. watch the girl that beat the girl but up by the pool. No, but who here, is that girl? That's yeah. who I want to see. But here's the thing: is the fact that the first season of my of Blood, Sweat, and Heels yes. was extremely successful without mm-hmm. any violence. Yes, oh, you know, wow. and it's just like it's like okay, so how do we repeat that? You know, mm-hmm. for for you know second season, we don't want the sophomore jinx. Okay, well let's arm this. You know crazy woman but with a bottle. But let's keep it real. That's, you were probably crazy. one of the couple people on the show worth watching. I watched because of you, but all those other girls on the show could all rest in peace. I oh. will not argue with you Okay. There. And then oh. they brought another girl on second season well, Daisy, with the gay Daisy boyfriend. Daisy was very oh, sweet. Daisy I mean, was very sweet. Rest yes. in peace, Daisy. You, I, yes. I, th- that girl was one of the blessings that yes. happened from that show. Very and sweet girl. You know what's interesting? I was the only cast member at her funeral. Mm. Are you kidding me? Nope. Wow. Oh, no. So with your show and Married the, who to would, Medicine? Yes. With your show Married to Medicine, who were the two girls fighting by the pool? Oh, uh, so that was uh Toya Bush Harris <laughs> and Mariah. So when they were were uh, you there were you there at that party? Yeah, I was actually there. So when they're tussling and doing all of that in their furs and their gowns, because the yeah. thing I love about your show, unlike some of these other shows that I'm familiar with where they fight, you know, these people got a street wear and chains and all kinds of body armor you guys are dressed up and you're just highfalutin in atlanta right and then when these girls are tussling these grown-ass women are tussling in their dresses are you just like shaking your head no you know at the time i really wasn't shaking my head because at the time one of those young ladies i thought was my best friend Mm -hmm. and as you see here i don't i don't operate if you're my friend no one's going to be able to sit in front of me and talk talk about you it's just not going to happen and so i um the thought that she was my best friend and I wanted to, you know, kind of separate them and, mm-hmm. and not have them to fight. So I, I went over there and was trying to separate them. And in the separation, I, 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 on, I fell over Yeah, y'all couch. were laying all on the couch. <laughs> yeah, honey, that was a very busy night. And mm-hmm. so the older lady who was uh, the veterinarian, she's we not on the show We don't have a veterinarian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because she was kind of kooky. I he don't even know her name. I only know Quad. And there's the other girl that's that delivers babies. Okay, we have okay, two of them. We have two of them. That Jacqueline. Are. Jacqueline. Dr. Yes. That's okay, the that's, only, that's, that's only yeah. two I know. Simone. I know her first. That's mm-hmm. just Quad. Yeah. And then the other cat. So you know who right. Mariah is, though, right? I don't know that girl. Mariah is the one who reportedly created the show. Okay, and and she sips her tea and looks at her phone. Strong ass. <laughs> I got call. Is that Faye? Oh, that vibration so no, strong. Hey, Faye. Faye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you. Have, so you were talking earlier about pet. Clothing, yeah, right, right. So the company you own a company. Yes, yes. That, that, I actually created a company. It's called Picture Perfect Pup. So we specialize in couture, puppy clothing. Oh, and so wings. you're responsible. Shit. So you're responsible <laughs> for all these people walking around with all these dogs with fur coats and all kinds of other get up. Well, you know, I'm not going to say I'm solely responsible. But I'm definitely a part of the pack. I might even lead it because the quality of clothes are amazing. So let me and, ask you. And there's a lot of money in that. Yeah, it's a lot of money. It's a billion. It's a Fifty-two so, billion dollars. So, what's the base price? Yeah. What's the base price of uh, Picture Perfect? Pro? Well, you know, I thought about everyone uh, when I was creating this. I didn't want to, you know, because you know um, I'm at the lower tier. Yeah, well, I have something, you know, I think the, the, the cheapest thing people. is... It's yes. no. Let, let's just say, you're asking if she has shit for poor people. Okay. I'm not poor. No. So do you have anything that we can pick up at the 99 cent store? No, baby, no. we ain't doing it So like what's that. the base price? No, Go ahead. The, the fabric, I, I actually um, sorted, sourced the fabric myself out here in LA on Maple. Okay. You know, so uh, with that being said, um, I, I didn't want to cheat the brand because it was for, for dogs. I actually utilized it as, as my motivation to give top quality. Um, um, so the lowest and lowest thing on on the website might be something around uh, forty forty five forty five dollars. I'm thinking that's, that's affordable. The lowest. That's you the know, lowest. Maybe maybe no, no. or maybe sixty five. But the highest thing I have on there <laughs> is uh, a dress. It's called the Bell of the Ball, and it's a beautiful satin dress uh, with. Um, 
you need crystal to go on and also price pearls. When That's they, when 150. They, but here's the situation. Here's the situation. When you have a dog like that, these are designer mm-hmm. dogs. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, what is a designer dog? Yeah. D- a designer dog. Mine is a is a short hair apple head teacup chihuahua. With She's very dogs. specific. She was over two thousand really dollars. So I know I'm going to be spending a grip on this dog. So I'm just going to show you a picture of her in her little Santa outfit. Oh, oh look my. at Stinkum. <laughs> Look at you, mama. I, you know what? I thought white people was the only people that talked to their puppies like they was babies. Oh my God, no, no, not at all. No. Let me tell you something. These, I did these use the word babies, highfalutin. Trust me. <laughs> okay. You did. Okay. You did. These little babies bring so much joy to you. They're such a comfort. Like no matter what you're going through, if you if, even if you just yelled at them, they'll just come right back for more love. Yep. You know, so they're Trust never shaking. Trust me, shady. we heard Melissa... Baby. yelling her ass she's, off when she, she first be, got she it. She could be bad sometimes, but just look at the face. Well, I don't have a dog, but I will refer <laughs> my rich, bougie friends Bring them to all. your to All your of brand. them. Yeah, pictureperfectpup.com. But do you got stuff like big now. pit bulls and rock wilds? Well, we actually do custom things. So if you send in the measurements and you let us know what you want, it's nothing we can't do. I'm going to get a dog and I want you to make a do-rag for him. What? You got a hood dog. I, I, I know. I'm going to get a puppy pit bull. Banging in South Central? What's tea? I want you to make him a do-rag. Speaking of banging in South Central and all the gangbangers out there in jail, all of all of us have something in common. Mm. Every single one of us. What's that? We have assault charges? Yes. Ah. Yeah, we do. Oh, you shit. You know what? You ain't shit for that. We do. Oh, my no, I mean, God. it's just good that when you invite people to the show, you have things they can in relate. common. They can Their relate. Segue you, you, was dope. I mean, l- you know. listen, we've had Matt Barnes. We've had Floyd. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to move right along. We, we, su- wow. we suspect that you can throw them wow. hands. We suspect you can throw them hands. Show, you, you know what? Uh, I You're look, not I, a shrinking violet. No, I never look to start anything with anyone. That's just not my thing. I actually look to love. I look for everything that's great in a person. And, but I ain't, just don't push me. <laughs> and so how did, but now of course, being on the show, being yes. successful, being yes. able to afford security, do you go out by yourself or do you have people with you? You know what? I actually, like, I like com- company, mm-hmm. you know, um, but I'm not ag- against going out anywhere by myself. Uh, normally I'm very low when I do it. Mm-hmm. And then the minute I open my mouth, it's like, Miss Squad, oh, that's what, I know your voice, girl. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you know, but I love my fans. I don't, I don't really like to call them fans. I love to call them supporters. supporters. Yeah, I because I, I truly thing. do appreciate them because without them, Damn, then it wouldn't be me. me. You know, um, the production companies and would not see the value in what I can bring to the table. So I'm very grateful. Yeah, that's Extremely. True. Mm. So what's the craziest fan or supporter <laughs> interaction you've ever had? Man, they get very busy with it. I'm like, jeesh. <laughs> I actually was at a party. I was hosting a party. I think it was uh, in D.C. for Gay Pride, of course. Mm-hmm. Love, love, love. And uh, I had this one guy. I mean, he was popping on the handstand, honey. I'm with all of it. And he just loved me so much. He just ran up to me and he was pouring with sweat and he just kissed me on oh. my jaw. And I was like, Ooh. why? Why? You just, <laughs> just shoot me the deuces. You know? me the deuces. But, yeah. I was like, oh, my God. He, he really didn't mean any harm yeah, yeah. by it. He didn't. He just saw someone who he loved and he wanted to show that love. And he was sweaty with the kiss. Did you wipe it mm. off? What'd you do? You yeah. said... Thank you, baby. You know, I did. I was like, oh, honey, you're very busy. But, you know, Miss Quad loves you. So, <laughs> so I literally want to like have you have you ever, have, I did. For you. Have you ever <laughs> set any boundaries for yourself, like with, with supporters to say, okay, I'm cool with all the love. Like, like I, lo- I love yeah. the love, too. Yeah. And I love the hate. I love it all. Mm-hmm. But there's just certain things. Like, for me, while I'm out having dinner or something mm-hmm. with a yeah. friend or family mm-hmm. member, I don't talk to people like mm-hmm. that. Or if I'm at a doctor's office or something mm-hmm. like that you're not gonna film me right yeah. right uh, yeah, why are you trying to why are you trying to make sure your situation yeah, no, straight? i went to a chiropractor <laughs> you've been, I, you've I, been I, very busy no i think i said it on this show I, I went to a chiropractor and this guy was uh filming you filming me on, on, on his snapchat and, yeah. I, and i got up and i walked over and i took his phone and it yeah. was like a big old no. production yeah. Oh, yeah, no, we clinic again, you can't do that jason that's another charge man <laughs> oh, wait hold on real quick i thought you were trying to say out of jail hold on real quick back to you about the clinic let me tell you one something if we like i have no i have no problem doing HIV status is right here on the show, oh. live and direct. Oh, that's oh. Awesome. Now, let's we can go live with that show. I know my status because I'm All out right. here fucking, and if I'm fucking, I need to know what's going on. Because right. yeah. you give me some shit I can't give away. I'm blowing up everything. I believe oh. you. Okay, so uh, where, where, where no, where we were we talking about what are the boundaries that you right. set up for yeah. yourself? Because five seasons, five seasons in, yes, you've gained a lot of supporters, yes. and you've probably gained some quote unquote haters, you know, oh, of course. bandwagon jumpers. That of like, course. You know, they don't really like you, but they like what you can bring. They like what hanging around you exactly. uh, gives them. They want a little bit of shine, you know. So how do you keep yourself to yourself to a certain degree without, you know, feeling like you're compromising right, right, your, right. Your, your sanity? 
Yeah, you know what? Honestly, um, I'm very honest with them. So if I don't really feel like taking a picture, I'll say, you know what? I don't feel like a picture today, but I can give you a hug. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I can hug you. Or, you know, um, it may be a situation where, um, you know, they want me to talk to their mom over the phone or something. I'm always for that. You know, I really de- I really try to make the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think is I think it's a part of the game, mm-hmm. you know, and it's just that one time where you say no, you know, because an yeah, individual is just asshole. saying, hey, I, I just went up to quiet. It's one of me, but they don't understand like a thousand people just was one of you. Yeah. And mm. so they don't get that. Yeah, and yeah. so I, and I understand that, you know, they just see someone that they're enamored with and uh, they want a part of you. They so. want, they want you, mm-hmm. you to be the you that they have inside their oh, head. Oh yeah, they say we're friends. Yeah. We're friends. Like, friends know? in their and, head. And, that's yeah. what, and what I love about mm-hmm. this show, and I know I get a lot of hate and love, but I, <laughs> I just decided when I did this show, I'm just going to say what I think. Just do you. And I'm going to say what I feel. And if people like it, great. If they don't, great. I mean, we get a lot of supporters. We were joking earlier that sometimes we get supporters who just support us to hate us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So in Atlanta, though, one yeah. thing I always, anytime I go to Atlanta, as soon as I open that Linux door mall, it's like instant love. So if yeah. I ever want to feel love, you just I can go, go down to Atlanta. Today, yeah. But I don't know how to enjoy Man. the clubs and the, I was asking Marla, like, how what much? do y'all do? What do you mean? Cause I when I get there I don't call Nene or I don't maybe I call, need to start yeah, calling call people. The, call the people. Call, holler at me. Call I me. Will. Let's get out. Let's have a great Atlanta dinner. Like we'll, we do a little something. Well, we miss you. <laughs> oh, you should come. Well, before you leave, we should exchange emails. Oh, oh, I have a okay. I have a good old time in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite things to do is shoot with um, Dwayne Rogers. Oh, yes. Man. Have you ever shot? Oh with my him God, before? he's such a ma- yes. Is he amazing? He's, he's amazing. He's everything. When yeah. I tell you everything, he's everything. So you're not gonna talk about D blanks because then he out there. Well, yeah, he does. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this. That's because we Thank say you, a compliment to one person saying. doesn't take anything away from the next person. He was yeah. just topic of discussion but at the D- moment, but Derek Blanks is amazing. Yeah. Robert Ector is amazing. Like there's a number of great African-American photographers coming mm-hmm. out of Atlanta. Who's Truth the team. best? You know, I think everyone's talented. <laughs> Where is your PR publicist, training? okay? It's on point. You know, the one thing I asked Marlo the other day, we were doing live during the premiere of Housewives of Atlanta, maybe yes. a couple weeks ago. I asked her about, uh, what was the guy's name that used to be on Real Housewives of Atlanta? A little dusty, kind of looked Ooh. like he was embalmed, but alive. Oh, um, uh, what's his name? Older, gay, uh, um, uh, starts with, not Derek with the heels, but... Uh, Real extra, real over the top. Come on, somebody here, help me. Oh, God, it's going to come to me. I can't remember. Starts Uh, with a D, I think. Oh, wow. Demario. Dwight, Dwight, Dwight. Okay. Oh, Dwight. Do you know Dwight? I know Dwight. Is, and is du- he a socialite in this? What is du- how, is he alive? What is going on? No, with Dwight him? is alive and well, honey. Dwight, Dwight has a tequila and gin line, so he's really? very busy. Yes, I think he's doing some things in fashion with his shoes and. He you gave know, up. He gave up thing. trying to get the peach. He was like, "It's just not going to happen." Yeah. But you know he's still very busy. Here's the thing: it's all about it's 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 all about the hustle that you have. I mean, I've seen people, especially like for for, for instance, my show, Married to Medicine, where people have been on this show for five years and made nothing of it. But right. you can't get mad at the next You're woman that she about does. The old veterinarian. There's no veterinarian. You're talking about the old veterinarian. <laughs> no, no, that was no that subtle shade. No, I caught it no that shade. time. It's true tea, baby. It's fact. She's no longer it's on facts. the show. She's a veterinarian. She's calling herself who a doctor. Is she a doctor? Who was who was he talking? about? <laughs> oh, you, you ain't nothing for that. So, so, so I've seen it, but then I've also Jesus. seen a, a young lady uh, who's been on the show maybe one, a half a season, maybe four episodes in, and her hustle is so strong. Like, she's created a book for herself. She's done some amazing things. She's been in some plays. Like, it's all about what you want to do with it. If you're comfortable with just being a reality star, then I feel, I pity you, because this could be gone in any given moment. Right. It's mm-hmm. all about what you're going to do with the platform. I look at the situation like this. If everyone else can make money off of me, why can't I make money off that's of true. me? That's true. Yeah. And hence Cardi B. That's a true That's how I see spirit. it. Yeah. yeah. So how would you say that you have kind of grown Mm -hmm. over the, you know, from first season to season five, because now you are a vet. Yes. Season one, you were Oh my God. Like Masika said, the season one bitch. That's so what yeah. she calls us. They Is only that? do one season, our first season. Well, really? no, no, no. I'm just talking about like. In, but that doesn't apply to me because I'm five in. Yeah, I'm, t- I'm talking about like the comfort level of, of the cameras following you around and, you know, constantly just right. being in your face. You know what? Being what invasive. was really, really hard for me, Melissa. Mm. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real chick. I'm mm. still very Southern. I'm still very Memphis. Um, if I if I rock with you, if I uh, there's no way that I'm going to sit here with you guys today mm-hmm. and then walk out of this door and talk crap about you. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to do that. Mm-hmm. So I look at, listen, we're together. We're doing our thing. I, I, I respect you. Mm-hmm. So I didn't get the, I didn't understand 
just because the cameras came on, I'm thinking you and I are cool, Jason. Mm -hmm. And then you come at me sideways. Where is this coming from? Mm -hmm. I was completely oblivious. That's the Hollywood way. I didn't understand that is the Hollywood mm. way. They're like, oh, you're great. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going to call you. Bitch. Yeah. Never, see, never hear from you. Remember that scene from Friday? You, know? you, you won't even make it out the parking lot. At all. These mm. people, I'm telling you. And that, I think, is what... Uh, I was just saying earlier, I feel like mm. I've become more of a hermit. Like, I literally, I just bought a PlayStation. I'm either at the house or on a plane or working or... But I've never known you to play video cool games. Though. I meant to say that. Huh? I've never known you to play video games. Call the niggas that love me do. Okay. okay. There you go. Uh, that's hysterical. In the ball of cereal, oh, Call of Duty 2K. <laughs> I got it all. They he like, went and got, oh, you got a game? I'm he went, and got, the, he went and got the default nigga essential game. <laughs> 2K. <laughs> wow. For Christmas. Oh. For Christmas, I said... That's what he got. This is what I said for myself. I did myself a reverse gift. Gift. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna buy all the things that are creative bait to make all my gifts come stay early. and stay at the crib. Absolutely. That's cool. And but he here's had a the bowl thing: I, I, I heard what you said, and let me tell you something. I mean, <laughs> this is by choice, but you should never allow anyone to run you into any hole, into any corner. Never. You don't just because someone else is acting the way that they act towards you. Towards you. That's them. That's mm -hmm. not you. So you don't have to say, oh, you know, these people are so fake. They're so phony. You know, I just resulted to going to my house. Why? Mm -hmm. You popping, right? You got your thing going on. People love you. Mm -hmm. You have to you have to really lean on the love that you get from people instead of the haters because they're going to mm -hmm. be there. And I don't want you to be saying, you know what? <sighs> I just can't trust anyone. So I'd rather just hang by myself. Right. So they say Atlanta's like the black Hollywood. Do you feel does it feel more supportive of a community down there? Because here. I've just found in, I don't know, maybe it's the same in Atlanta, but like black folks, we still have the slave mentality that oh, only absolutely. one can make it in the house. Oh my God, yeah. Is it like that in Atlanta? Um, you know what? Um, I'm sure that there, it may be, but I, I would like to say in Atlanta, what I've seen is that if you support people, people reciprocate that. Mm. Okay. You know, uh, I know for me, um, I'm not going to constantly ask you to come out to one of my events mm -hmm. and then you don't come, but then you ask me to come. Right. Yeah. See, yeah. we're going right. to do this thing the right way. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You give it, I take it. Right. I give it, you take it. Yes. That's, that's how right. I see it. Yeah. Okay. So, with, like it. so with Picture Perfect, perfect Pup, pup. Mm -hmm. Picture Perfect Pup, yes. P -P -P, you're cool. not going to let the veterinarian from your show. Oh my God, you don't stop with this. I'm just saying because you want to put the line, you want to put the line where there is no veterinarian or married to medicine we have a, a great dentist we have two OBGYN my husband is a psychiatrist um, your husband sometimes be looking at you like he just can't even understand how to manage the madness that you put this but man that's through. probably do why you, he married do her. you ever feel sometimes that it's just a lot because you know my sister's a doctor and yes, she's yes. so fucking boring like <laughs> everything in her life is boring she invited me to her wedding I go I ain't going to that boring ass wedding <laughs> no it's your sister she so want me to, to be, be cool with her son I don't want your boring ass nephew the boring ass nephew I don't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> That's your family. But you're you're he not don't like that. So like, oh, you are my family. <laughs> like Girl, shade, shade you the family. It's a whole other episode. But you came out. I, I will, you you'll need your doctor. Your husband's a psychiatrist. But you came out on the other side. He'll have to be on your husband's couch yeah. just for the assessment. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Long been married. I don't sleep with married <laughs> men. Don't do that. I, Hold on. I'm asking her how long she's been married. So I've been married for five years. My husband and I have been together for nine. It's in the notes. I know that. I want to hear it come out of her mouth. Why don't you right. ask her how she survived a relationship with domestic violence because you weren't able to? Uh oh. What happened to you? He said breathing. Ooh, he said breathing. I'm good at what I and do. And you're baby. trying to twitch so it. It wasn't domestic violence. Watch you. I'm glad you brought that up, Jesse Lee. So I was recently with someone. I'm not going to share her name. Daniel anyway, Sanjana. Uh, <laughs> we, and, and I, just, I, and I was, like to say my Daniel's situation is a little bit oh, yeah. uh, you know, I just recently what read what she posted for domestic violence <gasps> and without saying my name just had this long write up of how she survived domestic violence. Did you, and did you beat he was a did monster a and I bit her nose. Why would you bite the woman? Because I was drunk. <laughs> And no, I was upset. you don't bite the no, woman nose listen, off. The woman needs to breathe. Out. I know. No, no. Listen, listen, listen. I'm listen. thinking about Rudolph the, the red nose the reindeer long now. Spread, with the long spread that she wrote it made it seem like I was physically beating her for the. But I you never put my hands. Nose. Up. I was wrong for it, and I. You we, did the we, Mike Tyson. You just did, chose the nose. We could please, not get to your question because right now no, I'm thinking of Mike Tyson's punch out. I'm thinking of Rihanna. Transgendered this. I'm thinking of Rihanna. Just listen. Have a seat. There's just a lot of going on in my mind right now. Move back. You, you know what? Never mind. Let, never mind. Let me just ask the question. So, I, so you are. <laughs> you take. You it. have to print I, you this. We are not. I, quad, I have a very What's real it, question. Please, please, please. In Atlanta. Yes. Okay. Can I just say for the record, none of us are journalists. <laughs> 
But that's all right. Oh, wait. Uh, I no. am. Wait. No, never mind. No, I, I am. I, I, I I'm doing a good job. I'm, I'm a published writer. Okay. So, anyways, quad. Allegedly. So, let's let, You better no. get it, honey. You better tell them to check out. Jet Beauty of the Week don't count. I, no, no, no. You're so shady. Published writer. I'm just yeah, playing. Where my picture was not necessary. <laughs> for you didn't. Oh, anyways. Okay. So, <laughs> I was waiting for the mess to show up in this show, and I think we just got it. So, anyways, Atlanta. <laughs> yes. Being a married woman, mm-hmm. the ratio is really, really off. I think they said 22 to 1 last night. I, I heard, heard it was 30 to 1. You also have it to carve is. out those with HIV. Yeah, and that's what yeah. I mean. For for every 30 women, there is one available, heterosexual, available, STD not married, free. STD free, not on the down low mm-hmm. type of man. Okay. It's 30 weird. to 1. It's it's atrocious. I have, another, I have a girlfriend who said, statistically, she had eight friends, you know, married couples, moved to Atlanta um, from different points of the world. Yes. All eight are divorced. It's really real out there. Do you ever feel like you gotta like, you know, hold on to your husband a little tight and look over his shoulder and be like, bitch, I wish you would. No, 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 let me, let me, let me help you to understand me. Um, no, not at all. I'm not trying to keep anything that's not wanting to be kept. Whoa. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just not like that. Um, I'm not in competition with anyone but myself. Mm-hmm. So I don't have time to look around and see what she's doing or what she's trying to do. I have them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, if he chooses to stray, then that's something that he has to deal with. And when I find out, I'm out. I think I, I like think this. he'd be really yeah, afraid to stray. Yeah, Damn, man, you are like I think yeah. he'd be terrified to stray. Yeah. He, he, you know, he, he's a man though, so I don't, I don't know. I mean, this season of Marriage to Medicine, season five, it's it's definitely different from the the past seasons. Um, I think in the past season, you've seen the relationships, or the friendships, kind of uh, go through ups and downs. But this time, you're actually seeing the marriages go through some ups and downs, and and actually mine being one of them. So, mm. so do yeah. you do you behind do you behind the scenes with your husband before mm-hmm. you film? Say okay. I don't care how crazy the show goes. Mm-hmm. We're going to keep our house solid. Mm-hmm. We're going to keep our marriage intact. We're going we gonna to make it work. Or do you literally just live and experience everything on TV? You know, um, I like to keep everything authentic. Really? I, I really do. Um, I, I respect and I love my husband. Uh, I've, you know, concealed some things and, and protected my husband. I, I value his position as a, a doctor. Um, but, you know... Hey, if he chooses to say or do some things, then that was his choice. Has he ever diagnosed your co-stars? No, no, no. We don't do it like that. Because that QSR no. 4 will come out and be like, that bitch right there. <laughs> well, he had said something about one of them. I was like, yeah, you, you want to you wanna money with that one? Veterinary. Yeah, you know, it's another one. But she don't get none of my time in my interview. She has a book on interview. So mm. Toya Wright's brothers were both killed. And yes. that was like, you know, I don't know her. I've met her a couple of times. Sweetheart. She seems like a really nice girl. She My is. brother was murdered. I really felt. So how, how mm-hmm. did you console her? I mean, you guys appear to be, when I saw yeah. you really close. Yeah. How did you console her through that? You know, um, her and I talk uh, a great deal. And uh, even when she went through the things with her ex-husband, um, you know, I'm always like, you know what? It's time to focus on you. Uh, and even when you're... Um, faced with some of those questions that may be a bit intimate, you just reflect back on you. You know, that's how I that's how I look at it. So Kenya Moore is allegedly married. Would you that's go on a double say. date with her and this daily guy? I don't really know Kenya like that. I, I think I met Kenya one time out here uh, in L.A. at the BET Awards. We mm-hmm. took a flick on um, Red Carpet and it's that on that. Really? Yes. So you've never hung out? No. Is she, is she the type of girl you would roll with? You know, um, I... You know, I don't really, I'm not really attracted. So, you know, I, I you know, you have to kind of see something in a person. I haven't really paid much attention to see anything mm. that, I'm not saying anything is wrong with her. Watch you because you're trying to kick up some dust. Mm-hmm. But no, I'm, I'm trying not saying, to ca- I'm, I'm paying close attention to the words because your shade sometimes is couched in other shit. <laughs> yeah. You're really good at she's it. Diplo- she's very, she's a no, diplomacy I mean, artist. She said, because she started by saying, I'm not attracted to this. She stopped. I was. I thought you were going to say fraud, lies, deceit, <laughs> oh, bad no. skin. I didn't know where you was going to no, go. No, you know, it is what it is. Skin. Oh, thank you. Do you, you ever right. look at her and say, can you let me help you out, girl? No, because we don't have that type of relationship. Now, have we had that type of relationship? I'd have helped her a long time ago. Have you been to Chateau Charest? Yes. Is it nice? Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm so proud of Sheree. She hung in there. She went through a lot with it. But you know what? She stayed down so she can come up. And she is. She has a beautiful body. She works out. Um, She's a good girl. I I, I got this crazy story about Sheree and I really quickly. So there's this one guy. They saw us on Watch What Happens Live together or whatever. And this guy sends this freaking dildo and some Luber gel to my 
fucking house. <laughs> oh my like, god! Can you give wait, wait, wait. in care of? Like, can you give this to Sheree? I think I'm like, what? He I sent think, it to you too. I think he sent He's from to Texas. Me. Yes. Oh my god! I called. I, I had an FBI agent. Oh, honey, like, you already know. I yeah. did that. I'm like, Sheree, what's up? She's like, Oh, girl, this has been going on for so long. I'm like, What have you done about this? She's like, Girl, I just thought he, he was gonna go away. I'm like, Clearly, he's not going away. Now he's stalking you How through your friends. How you get your addresses though? I, I don't, don't know. know. But I tell you what, we went down to the Fulton County Courthouse. Compliments, Miss Quad. No, but he sent his phone number too. So I was on. Oh, the, he sent a resume. So, wait, he sent so a I was picture. on the. I was on the Breakfast Club, and they called. And Charlemagne and Envy called him. Yes, and he got on. Well, I want line. him to yeah. call me and give me Sheree's address because I'm trying to find Cairo. You know what he oh, told? Wait a minute, uh, we ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. <laughs> but you know what he told me, right, Jason? He's like, because I dialed him private because I want to see what's good with this, and he's like, um. Yeah, you know, I'm just trying to help her. She's trying to help me. She's supposed to be messing with somebody in the, in, the, in the jail. I'm just trying to help her. I said, how are you helping her? You help her. What, You called what? the guy? Damn right I called him. You sent something to my house. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> of course I called him. And he said he was trying to help her. I said, well, do you think that that's a good approach? You know, you sent a dildo. It was a horse dick dildo. Yes, too. it was. It was, it was huge. Yes. Yeah. So, yes. Charla- so Charlemagne. Well, she got a fat ass, so he probably thought. Well, he sent no. me a horse dick dildo, too. You got a fat ass, too. <laughs> and so Charlemagne was like, you know, like, why would you, you send you, this? On this show, you said it's you so like big crazy. dicks. Okay, Did I, you throw it but away? But she doesn't want, like, no. you know, yes. that needs to be attached to someone that she cares no, about. No, she plays with her kitty cat. She uh, has I have toys. a vibrator, not wow. a dildo, okay? Speaking of bedroom candy. Yeah. <laughs> um. What's the most uninhibited thing you've ever done sexually, Quad? Uh, uninhibited? Why does it have to be uninhibited? Oh, well then, what what is the wildest sexual thing you've ever done? You know, I'm a Taurus, um, and I, I like to be... Um, Slapped. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You feel oh, you feeling in place? I know, That's what we doing? Because no, I, know, I know nobody's spitting on you or peeing on you. No, I'm not with the R. Kelly. No, we're not going to get down like allegedly. that. Allegedly. No, allegedly. Yes, absolutely. Now he did. I watched the video. No, but, um, you know, I, 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 I like to really um, feel what I'm going, what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. You know, I like to, to understand it. So I'll take it there. Would you ever be with a woman? No. She, she, maybe it's just a black woman thing. No, it's not a black woman no. thing. It is just a heterosexual. That's why these thing. No. black men are getting these white girls. Well, these then white they, girls well, then do they, everything. And it's guess a what? carnival in the bedroom. I've seen a lot of white girls get a black brother's right back. Mm. <laughs> so it is what it is. Okay. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. Exactly. Qu- Quad checking her phone. Her publicist saying, "Get the fuck out of there." <laughs> She's just texting. <laughs> so you know you got to go to Bravo. We got Steve Harvey today. Okay, well, listen. Okay, so what, what, what else is going on in your world? Like, what else are you working on? Because you have. The, the puppy care line where mm. I'm going to go on, I'm gonna go on this side and, and, and no, she purposely made it perfectly picture perfect pup. Picture perfect pup. Picture P-P-P. perfect pup. Yes. Mm-hmm. Co-host Speaking. of the talk show, The Circle. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait we, can't, yeah, we can't leave. Okay. No, okay. we're definitely not going to leave. Sister Circle. circle absolutely. Yeah. Go ahead. Sister Circle. Okay. I have to commend you because it is not easy to get a show naturally and organically picked up by all of us, the mm-hmm. bloggers and everybody. Well, we appreciate you. Thank mm-hmm. you so and much. And you guys are getting all the tea yes. in Atlanta. Yes, yes. So they, break, they break the exclusives and everything down to the so circle. It's been so good. And then your yeah. co-host is Selena. Yes, that's, oh my God. Selena. Selena Johnson. She was on. The sing- she, oh, she, oh, absolutely. She was, the she was on. Yeah. She was on yes. R&B yeah. Divas, the show they stole from the event I had with Whitney Houston. But that's Ooh, another thing. She sang on the show. With, to she sang on the song with R. Kelly. I know. Shout, Shout out Thornton to Selena Johnson. So Selena gave probably the best read at that dinner table oh, with Nikki. Baby, we just baby. posted it the other day. You know, I live for it, right? I was like, yes, honey, get into it. So you both, you both read, but very differently. Very much. So. She's much more like me, more aggressive and out there, just throw it out. Yeah. You're so with it i'm more like no I'm, I'm i'm coming for your gut i'm coming for for your for for the uh for the juggler however uh you might have to think about it see i already talk fast so you gotta you gotta listen so, faster so when you had tamar's mom recently on and she was yes, talking Ms. about e. the abuse yes when she was saying that when she was telling you the story were you like got that that's good like do you know when you get those moments during your you show? know here's the thing um Especially in that case with Miss E, it's not like we was seeking to get something from her. Uh, Miss E was moved in a way that she wanted to speak about that domestic violence is very important to Miss E amongst a lot of other women and men. And I think that was a situation where she loves her daughter unconditionally and she wants to see her safe and happy. And as a mom, I can compl- I'm, I'm not a mother, but I can understand the love that a mother may have. You know, people may say, don't interfere in their marriage, but 
yes, that's Vince's wife, but that is Tamar's mother. But mm-hmm. people are criticizing her too because while your daughter's getting beaten and all of that and you're hiding in the room and locking you and the baby away because you're afraid, you're still filming television shows. And while the relationship between Tamar and Vince was good, they were profiting from it. So do you did you sit there believing everything she was saying? Well, or? We, we, we have to realize that when we fi- fi- um, we film these shows, and you know this, yeah. the, these things, these shows are filmed months ahead of time before mm-hmm. they're even released. Mm-hmm. So relationships change, situations change. Um, and, and all relationships, whether friendships, um, fiancés or, or spouses, you're going to have some ups and downs, but we don't want it to get to the point where it's being uh, physically damaging to anyone. I just had a meeting with Vince and Remy Ma probably a couple of weeks ago, and he mm-hmm. just seems so, every time I've seen him, he seems so nice and calm. Right. Well, you have to understand, too. I, I mean, just don't see the monster. Well, what's, that, what is he supposed to come up here, like, <gasps> flipping over the mic and flipping over the, the soundboard? No, he's not going to come. He's not going to come up here like Randy Savage. <laughs> you know, he's just not. Um, it's different situations, different relationships. Sometimes yeah. uh, people are harboring cer- certain things. Uh, you just never know what it may be that will evoke certain types of emotions. So, yes, you're probably not the same in here as you would be when you're um, at a at a conference or at, sure. at a round table trying to get a sure, deal, sure. you're professional. Sure. So people show you Are who you they want. Are you saying I'm not professional right now? I'm saying you're with your people, so <laughs> we're all good. Shade. No, no, that. I'm I saying you're with us. So it's okay. But what, I, what I'm simply saying to you, people show you their representative. They show sure. you what they want you to see, sure. nothing more. I get that. Mm. Right? So where yeah. did you find Stephanie Mills? Because yes, I ain't seen Stephanie? her since like 1989. Yeah, honey, Stephanie she looks gave great. it. Oh my gosh, so amazing, so amazing. Listen, that was a great interview with Stephanie. But and- but for the people that may not have seen it, I posted the clip. I actually wait, <clears throat> did I post it or did y'all post? Okay, <laughs> well, somebody posted the clip uh, mm-hmm. from Hollywood Unlocked where she said something I thought was very profound, and I was surprised it didn't get more pickup than it did. Well, it it did get a lot of traction. I think it was like on on a lot of the blogs. Even Wendy Williams spoke of yeah, it. Yeah, but she said that basically that the industry and the world loves. R&B music, but not from us. Mm-hmm. They love really? it from the Justin Timberlakes, the Justin Bieber's. And right, the, the, the Sam, uh, what's the baby Sam name? Smith. Yeah, yeah, Sam Smith. Got a great uh, album, though. Yeah, oh, he really is. And I mean, our, um, I mean, I like them, but no. What? It's our music. Yeah. So that's what she basically was saying. She was talking about cultural mm. appropriation. Right. You know, what What happens when they want to take everything about us, but they don't accept the skin? Yeah. They leave mm. the skin color with us, but right? Don't they we, don't want the Don't we have to start accepting ourselves first? Because when we say it's that's our true. music, right? Like, mm. that means that Michael Jackson shouldn't be the king of pop. Or no, that means, I don't know if I would, like... Yeah, that's because, bad. No, because no, you, you got to remember, like, even, even rock... We didn't invent uh, pop music. Hold on. Watch yourself. Did we? Because we had little Richie. Woo! So, the, so she so, didn't. She, she, so wasn't, she wasn't the first one. She was rock and roll. She, she was, but rock and roll she. elevating to. He's pop. not gay no it, more. It really? No, he's not. That's oh. what he said. He said that the the, the homosexual demon has been cast out of him. Girl okay. pie. Well, whatever the people want to believe. <laughs> but know. anyway, you were saying. Yeah, so I, I think um, Stephanie Mills was definitely uh, dead on. A lot of times we have a lot of great music, a lot of great movies, but they kind of uh, put them in a, a, uh, a quarantine them, so to speak. And then they'll take what we have and then they'll kind of disperse it amongst, you know, the major the majority, and uh, which is a Caucasian uh Caucasian based people, mm-hmm. you know, uh, and we, I mean, we listen and I'm, and I'm going to say it like it is, you know, we see a lot of this with like the Kardashians shots out to how they rock their career. I, love I the think they've done well. I think they've done extremely well. That mom is a beast when it comes down to promoting and creating uh, uh, business plans and actually execute, executing the plans. However, we've been rocking braids. Ooh, mm. come on. Uh, we've been having small waistlines. Mm. We've been having nice roundies, right? Our butt's been round. Mm-hmm. We, we've been having full lips. Mm. Like, so why is it so amazing and outstanding when you see that on someone other than black? Mm-hmm. Right? And so I think that's what Stephanie Mills was saying. Mm-hmm. In fact, I know that's what she was saying. Mm-hmm. So with Deb Abney on the show, why weren't you there? Where were you at? Debbie Allen. It no, pro- Deb Abney. Was it, is it, is it Deb? Uh, Debbie Allen? Al- no. The woman from Love and Hip Hop, Waka Flocka's mother. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah, because I'm here. Oh, so Man, this was yeah. just recently. Yeah, Deb oh, okay, was here today. Okay. I think okay. Deb was there today, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, yeah. well, I saw it today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, because she talked a lot. She, I think she threw shade at Nicki Minaj. She, oh, basically, for the paper she, magazine? Well, she was saying that she's teaching women, and apparently Johnny Blaze, who was just on her show, is her new artist. She's mm-hmm. teaching women to close your legs and open your pocketbooks. 
I respect that. Mm-hmm. Are we calling the pocketbooks though? We ain't open. Wait a minute. Yeah. I'm how old is that? Oh, wait, Express that to me. Book. Open the pocketbook. She what? said, "Close your legs." So basically, you know how Nicki Minaj. I know. The, okay. Was, basically, she was, was just saying like, "Close your legs." Yeah. She said, "Basically, we've gotten into this new era of like, blow up your boobs, blow up your ass, mm-hmm. cinch in your waist, opening your legs." not opening your pocketbook. I don't know. Basically, she took a shot at Nicki Minaj. Well, Nicki Minaj hmm. has always promoted herself as a Barbie doll. Like, I mean, she just, she calls the, her the fans, name the is Minaj. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, so she's staying of, true to her brand. I don't bit. know. Deb just had an opinion. I don't know. I like to get the, I like to see the footage on that before I comment. Okay. Mm. Dang, yeah. that PR training is crazy. So, <laughs> no, it's really me. <laughs> <laughs> so how did the show come uh, about? Did you pitch it? Who pitched it to Yeah, so Sister Circle. So, okay, so amazing. Um, and it was like a year in the works before you guys even seen it. Um, we probably did the auditions back last August 2016 mm-hmm. um, and we have my EP Helen Swenson uh, who is Greek and has an amazing story she's for women women empowerment uplifting uh, and very inspiring woman and she wanted to do something that was completely different but was desperately needed mm-hmm. and uh, she said hey I want a panel show for African American women mm-hmm. and I want to give uh, the things that we see that's going on in our country and also in pop culture I want it to be seen from the perspective of an African American woman Mm. And I was just blessed enough uh, to to be fortunate to to have the opportunity to have met her. And uh, she saw something in me. She said, you know what? Uh, I think she may have auditioned. I mean, it was thousands of people that auditioned. It was boiled down to 150. And she said, the minute you walked through the door, I knew you were my one. That's How that, did you get glow. on two networks at the same time, though? Because you shit. bossy. <laughs> when you it. bossy. Is, is, is Bravo supportive? Like, they'll let you do other networks? Oh, absolutely. You, yeah. Well, see, I've been on the show now... Um, for for five years and it's all about how your contract is written yeah so i like to talk to people about you know don't be so anxious when you're anxious you make mistakes you really need to understand you know what your contract is saying and what's it what is it asking of you and it's great to have good people good attorneys uh i'm fortunately signed with caa so i don't have those type and more more, more lately than not when it comes to like a contract like that (laughs) bravo is going to be more interested in whether or not she takes an opportunity in non-scripted reality that's where that's going to be a conflict absolutely doing a Talk show, talk show. It's only game just, shows. It's, it's only going to further yeah. the brand. Not which, that love and hip hop uh, contract. Listen, that's that's us. Do you sign it to a slave? I shit. just want to. Yeah, no, I want to no. just let mm. me just if I can just double dutch right back into double a dutch of, is a gay man no, or girl not. game. Yes, it is. Let me double ain't dutch no back. Man, okay. Wait a minute, slow down. Anyway. Ain't no man in Watts double dutch it, <laughs> nigga. Stop it. I got eight <laughs> sisters. I was. I grew up turning the ropes. Okay, so that's your mother, so nine anyway. Girls. A lot of people that's watching, when you say, see, I just want to educate them on CAA. CAA is the number one theatrical agency in Los Angeles, California. They rep people like Will Smith. Yes, in our country, actually. (laughs) You know, let's just go ahead and give them all of it. And the fact that you are signed to it, that's so dope. That's really, that's my goal. It was a true true blessing. And you know what? Um, They seeked me out, you know. (laughs) Um, and it was just something, you know, uh, shouts out to my agents and my agent Santini Reale. He's such an amazing guy. Uh, he believes in me. Anything that I say I want to do, I think I want to do. Uh, he's all for it. Uh, again, my, my, my team is just amazing. Uh, the Danica Berry agencies, amazing. Um, you know, it's it's just been a blessing for me. And God said that this is what I should do. And he had it for me to do it. All I had to do was do the work. Mm. Ooh, Honda yeah. now. Well, on that note, I think, uh, I've asked every question that I want to ask. Yeah. I mean, because now I feel like I got to be a little bit polished around you because you're yes. so polished. I, mean, within, I, mean, I thought she was going to come in here at least throw Quan, up a gang Let me tell you something. Too. He has never felt like that with any other guest. Like, he got to clean you. his shit up, like, ever. No, I like, you. brother polite. Like, you, like you need, no. no. No, he's never Brother felt like. Brother Polite was on the show talking about banging five wives. Oh, oh. interesting. Yeah. We had a person yeah. suck a cucumber until she spit and knows just everything. What's up with it? This yeah. show is a very interesting. Well, her thing. name was um, do- was Preesha, the head doctor, and what okay. she does is she teaches women to get comfortable with provi- you know giving oral sex mm-hmm. to their man, and so she does demonstrations on. Cucumbers. And mm-hmm. our, our next show, her, she's, her and Melissa are going to do a demo no, together. No, no we're Melissa, not, not going to no, do no, that. No, it's, it's not, uh, girl. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No. Melissa not going to no, do that. No, but here, I do have to tell you this. She brought a hair clip. <laughs> what? 
Oh, she's for, serious. <laughs> she about to put that thing back. She gonna put a bun in the She oh, did. It. It. I was. Y'all better watch out for these microphones. And I was secretly a little. By, <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> she's booking busy. <laughs> that Very cucumber busy. was a banana. Yes. A, a banana. You see how he's done. stuttering? That's how he was Uh-oh. when she was Uh-oh. doing it. I was Were like, Were you turned clean? on? Were you aroused? I was like, No, I was just really up. amazed. He's such a liar. Really? I actually, I mean, at the time actually, I had a girl, actually, he was taking notes. Did that do anything for you, Jason? No, not at all. Nothing. You didn't feel a little beep beep, a little tutu. Bye, quiet. We out. Bye, quiet. Thank you guys for having me. Please follow me at Absolutely Quad on all social media and platforms. Uh, definitely, if you're a pup parent, shop at PicturePerfectPup.com. You can catch me as I'm the brand contributor for BCBG, and I have my cookbook that's Club. coming out, Romance mm. on the Table, a spicy way to sauce up your love life. Are you filing taxes Keep with all this shit? <laughs> <laughs> as, as you're talking, I'm thinking, I need to call my account. She is my new, I, she is my new spirit animal. Yes, love I love you, baby. Her. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and yeah. you invited me. You said if I come to Atlanta, you're going to show me. So we're going to share. No, don't, no, no. Seriously, I'm coming and you're cooking. Listen, listen, and I'm, listen I'm telling you, the yes. cooking is so amazing. Let me tell you something. Let me just talk a little bit about yeah, and this. And don't be giving me no Google Voice number. Oh, no, no. I got the you. But, but you know, I got, one, I I got one of them too, too though. I, do too. I got one of them too. <laughs> Who is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, um, yes, guys. So, uh, cooking is definitely one of my passions. I completely uh, love it. I adore it. It's 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 a soothing thing for me. It's very tranquil. Um, I use it very very th- therapeutic. It really is. And I like to look at it like it's a, a dance uh, with the pots and pans. That's how I see it. I like that. You know, so, so it's all about keeping a time too? and a pace. You clean up too. Yes, I clean you look up like too. You can clean the fuck yes. out of house. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. First, okay. Wait, 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 wait. You're not gonna disrespect my friend like that. You're not gonna disrespect. <laughs> no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, what I'm, I'm, I'm wait, like? Wait, I'm wait, quiet, 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 no. quiet, quiet. I got this. Hold on. You got me, okay? First of all, she's she's southern. And we're that's not you, and we're not used to people with the southern oh, bell charm and the southern twang. No, so first you said she has the the granny colloquialisms. That's number one. Oh, number Jason. two. Wait, number two. No, because earlier he tried to say I was bigger than him, but he ain't seen himself in a while. Second of all, <laughs> second of all, now, now wait. Second of all, now you just came for her again and said she looks like she should audition for the help. No, I did. I did. Jason, you know what? No, you're not gonna do that. You're not Jason, gonna do that. See, anytime, that, we, anytime, that, anytime we have an exotic Spanish girl oh. in here. You got uh, all this exotic all right, shit. Tell oh, the bye, truth. Hollywood no, hookah. I mean, keep Bollywood. the camera rolling. She yes. said Hollywood hookah. Uh, uh, I need you to remember where you're at. Bye. You know Thank that's you your quad. job. They, they pay you Thank for you this. Quad. Quad. Thank you, Quad. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. I did not mean that. What I mean is Let most me fine something. women that really can cook their ass off mm-hmm. normally since they put they fucking heart and soul into it like it's Thanksgiving every week mm-hmm. they clean the fuck out the kitchen mm-hmm. that's what I mean well I, I keep a clean home I'm yeah. very I'm very domestic damn, um, my, my father then played at you know our spring cleaning for my house was completely different like you were on baseboards you were cleaning off actually the canned goods in the pantry so it was real serious Ooh. so that, that's just kind of how I grew up however in a marriage everyone you want a partner oh, someone yeah. who will help you so if I'm cooking it would be very nice for oh, you at least to put the I'm food away and maybe start with the dishes. I'm from, Ga- I'm from it's Gary, Indiana. So my grandma you take raised the trash out. every goddamn you take the tra- second. You don't, you don't oh, put trash geez. on top of trash? No, I, I don't. I get it to where I can zoop, zoop. And boom, you take it out. out. You, yeah. Would you ever expect a woman to take the trash Never. out? Never. I, I used to slap my girl's hand. Would you I ever let expect my girl a woman to? Well, uh, that's why you were arrested for domestic violence. Oh. <laughs> so keep Bye, it Hollywood <laughs> Unlocked. Okay, we out of here. Bye. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Thank yes, you, Clyde. Absolutely, Clyde. You can't win with <laughs> yeah. Jason. You're welcome, baby. Bye, everybody. Everybody's <laughs> yeah. winning.